The gentleman from Roanoke City, Mr. Rasool. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, speaking briefly to the amendment. I have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, what would it be without a chart today? I know you've heard about the uh, billion dollars. I know you've heard about the billion dollars in reported savings the Commonwealth would realize with Medicaid expansion. As a new member of the House, I wanted to make sure people didn't say you guys recruited me just for my basketball skills. <laughs> so I set out to learn a little bit more about this billion dollars. I found out the largest part is in indigent care. What I learned is that indigent care uh, in our budget is largely related to a specific line, item 301B, which is paid only to UVA and VCU for indigent care. I decided to try to understand this specific calculation from DMAS, and there are three major steps. First, Calculate indigent care, which they come to $3 billion between fiscal year 2015 and 2022, calculating it with 7% health care inflation. Next, step two, we calculate indigent care that would qualify under expansion, uh, which is about 73% of total indigent care at about $2.2 billion. And step three, calculate the savings, which they calculated at 50% about $1.1 billion, where the federal government pays the other 50%. Well, my friend, Delegate Buddy Fowler, said something just don't smell right. So I applied the sniff test calculation below using very conservative figures. I assumed 0% inflation in health care costs and that the Commonwealth would only pay 40% of the costs instead of the full 50% in case we experience hard times in the coming years. This even though in 2016 we will be paying 47%. The result is still a savings of $725 million, or over $90 million per year over the next eight years. I humbly request you consider these real savings to item 301B as you formulate, as you formulate your opinion on how Virginia should move forward. 